No more newbie here, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a timer on ShareFactory like in this example so you can add a timer in your videos and if you hadn't thought about doing a timer on any of your videos then perhaps this gives you some video ideas so you could do things like uh, my fastest death run or how many levels can I complete in 10 minutes or how long does it take me to travel from Pleasant Park to Salty in Fortnite or travel around the island in a boat in Fortnite or how many kills can I get in 5 minutes or and that sort of thing. So this video was suggested by Harry J so thanks so much for suggesting it. I hope this video helps you out. Please do check out Harry J's channel and if you like what he does please do consider subscribing. If you want to, you could also add um, some suggestions in the comments below if there's any videos you want me to do. If I do them, I'll give you a shout out for suggesting it. So always consider that if you want to. So let's get on to the video. Okay, so as mentioned in the title and the description, you do need a PC or laptop and a memory stick to do this. So once you've got that, put the memory stick into your PC or laptop and go to YouTube and then type in something like green screen timer, five minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. Once you've got that, then you can go to the address of the video and copy that. And you wanna find a um, converter online. I can't recommend which one to use. I'm using 4K Downloader, but some of them do give you viruses or pop-ups and that, so be careful. It's your call what you choose. Once you've done that, you uh, once you've found something, you can convert it to an MP4. So that's what we want to do here. So then just choose which quality video you want and then you can choose which folder you want it saved to. So we're gonna to go to choose and then we're gonna choose the Share Factory folder and we want the videos folder that's within Share Factory. Once we've done that, we click on open and save and then we can then go back into that bit and push the download button. Once we've downloaded it, it well, it'll start to download for you. Once it's downloaded, then it will confirm it there and then it will be saved. You can see if we look in our USB and share factory and video folder, then you'll see that it is saved there ready for us to use. So once we've done that, Take the USB stick out of the PC and put it into the PS4. Go to Share Factory, import content, import videos, and import from USB. Okay, and then we can go down, find the clip that we want to import, push the cross button and square to import it. And then we can come out of that and go to New Project. And then we just need to find whichever theme we want to use, up to you. Push the cross button and go get rid of all these ticks, go to most recent and find the clip that you want to add the timer to. Okay, we can rename it if you want to. And then this is the clip we're gonna use. It's just a really easy uh, death run that I chose to do. I don't normally do death runs, but that was a, what was the suggestion was for. So I thought I'll give that a go. Let's see how long it takes us to get to level eight, just out of interest, okay? So at the beginning of the clip, we can push the cross button and go to add track two. Once we've done that, we can add clip. Okay, and then click on the timer that we want. You would find that in by category and imported videos and then just push the cross button on the clip that we want to import and then also oh, the, the clip that we want to add and this is it here there's it's got a bit of a beginning on it so we need to just go forward until we get to the beginning of the clock starting once we've done that we want to split it where the clock starts so we can push the square button and go across the split clip and then cross to confirm and then delete the bit at the beginning that we don't want and confirm. And then this bit we want to, um, we've ch split the beginning, now we want to split the end. Now I know that this took me around 30 something seconds to complete the um, death run. So we can just go across, obviously we've downloaded or imported five minutes worth, we don't need all that. So I'm just going to go to around a minute. So we're going to scroll all the way back till we get to about a minute. And then we're just going to split that again so that it's roughly the time we want. And we push the uh, square button and push the cross button on split clip to split it where we want. And then we just confirm it. Okay, so split clip and confirm. And then we can just delete this bit at the end. We don't need that. So now we go to the beginning of the timer clip because we want to move that so that it's in line with when we want it to start on the video. So we start right at the beginning of the timer clip and then we push the square button and go to move clip. And we use the D-pad to go right, 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 watching the video on the left. As soon as it crosses the line, then we want to stop and push the cross button to confirm. Okay, and that will apply it for 
the video that we want to do. So if we play that now, the timer should start the moment it crosses the line. And there you go. So at the moment it's in the top and corner and it's a green screen. So we want to change that. So go to edit track two and then push cross. And then we want to go to pip layout and then move to the bottom left. It's probably where we want it. And then we can push the triangle button to change the green screen. So if we, in fact, what we could do is show you, if you go to pip settings, you can put a border in that and a frame around it. But what we could do is come out of that and push the triangle and then we can push the cross button and go to green screen, okay? And then that will take away the green background, come out of that, and then you'll see what the changes show on here, okay? So it's at the bottom corner and it's integrated into the video now, which is great. So if you want to, you can go to edit track two again, and then we could go to pan and zoom and move it out. You see there's a bit of a border around it, so you can zoom in and out to get rid of that border if you want to push across if you do get that. So that's how to get rid of that problem there. Okay, so you see that's working, that's counting now. So that works absolutely fine from there. So then what we want to do is stop the clock at the end. So when we get to the end of the clock, obviously it's gonna keep on going until we had split it. So there's a couple of different ways. I'll show you both ways. Okay, the first way is to get to the point where the time ends, and then we want to split the track two at that point. So go to edit track two and push the square button. And then what we can do is go to split clip and then split the clip exactly there. So it ends on the time where we want it to stop and then delete the excess at the end. Okay, and then that leaves us with us jumping and landing and giving the time that we finish. Problem is that it just disappears at that point, and we don't want that. We want to pretty much pause it at the time that we've got so we can keep it saying, Yeah, it ended up, you know, it took us 31 seconds. So, what you do is go to new project. Okay, we almost need to do a new project on this to, to create it, but it doesn't take long. Get rid of all the ticks, go to an imported video again and choose the green screen that we've got off the PC. So what we're doing here is we are recording our finish time. So we find the finish time that we want and then we double tap the share button on the controller and then we count for like five seconds, then double tap the share button on the controller again and that will have recorded the 31 seconds for us. Then we can save the project and exit and then we go into my projects and find our death run project. And then what we do is go on to track two and then we add track two and then we go to the end of the last one and we add what we've just recorded. So we go right to the end of uh, or when the last one finishes and then we push the cross button and add clip and then add what we've just recorded. So cross and square to add that. And then we just move along until we get to pip layout and then we can put that in the bottom left hand corner. So it matches what we've just done. And then once we've done that, we can push the triangle button, push the green screen, all the things that we did before. We can zoom, pan and zoom to get it all the way in because obviously this was a recording of the screen that we had before. So we need to just pan and zoom that all the way back to where we want it. Push the cross button to confirm once we're happy. And then once we've done that, we can come out of it and then just play that and see what that looks like. And it should mean that when we get to 31 seconds, it stays as 31 seconds for the amount of time we record it, which was about five seconds. Okay, so that was the first option that you could do to have a final time uh, staying with the video for a little while. You could instead just add an overlay if you wanted to and just type out 31 seconds and leave that on there and you could just change it so it flashes on the screen a little bit or you could do both. So totally up to you. Uh, I'm just giving you both the options. I'm sure you all know how to add overlay so I don't need to show you how to do that but it would look something like this. Okay, and the final thing to do is just to go onto the edit track 2 and go onto volume volume and bring the volume down because you may have noticed that there was a bit of music on there that we don't necessarily want to use on there okay so i hope you have found this useful if you have please do like the video and comment below to let me know that you found it of use and if you haven't already subscribed please do that will help me out a lot and uh, if you've got any suggestions you want me to make videos do let me know but other than that do check out the playlist and thanks for watching bye